George and Preston have blood on their hands. And it's up to you to deliver the final blow. Hello and welcome to Celebrity Big Brother. It is eviction number three tonight. Oh, ho, ho. we're not the nominations, just the cruelest and most cringeworthy you have ever seen. George Galloway, you know, he's taken on um, Blair and Bush, but has he finally met his match in Big Brother? After breaking the rules, George and Preston had to nominate live, and they stabbed Maggot, Ruler, and Tracy in the back. And now it's up to you to twist the knife. To Vic Maggot, call 09011 32 That's 09011 32 To Evict Ruler, call 09011 32 That's 09011 32 To Evict Tracy, call 09011 32 That's 09011 Or... You can text the name of the housemate you want to evict to 84444. Line's going to close in 27 minutes. Okay, so it was a really traumatic night for the house on Wednesday. And here's what happened the morning after that very awkward night before. Dear 15, 4.50 a.m. All of the housemates are in the bedroom. Yesterday, Big Brother punished George and Preston for discussing nominations. They had to nominate three housemates in front of the rest of the group who would automatically face the public vote. They nominated Maggot, Ruler and Tracy. I'm not taking it well. You tell. I got nominated. Yeah. Really? I'm telling you, what it feels like. It feels like shit. Hey, Tracy got nominated. Uh, Kelsey, please. Good night. I got nominated. That sucks. Megan. I can't sleep. I got nominated. (laughs) Whatever, I don't care. Good. Good. I didn't do anything but speak my mind and get nominated. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna shut up the whole night. Five fourteen AM. Oh my god, I'm nominated. I hate it. drunk and that. Maybe it'll make more sense. I'm gonna sleep, but the reason why I was nominated was because I gave people a reason to. I understand that. <laughs> I'm tired, it's okay. I'm sleeping. What? Go to bed. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Go to bed, honey. Yeah, but I'm trying to. Shh. Go to bed, honey. Well, if you shh, then we will. I did. It's not me. I'm sleeping. Nine thirty six AM.
I Tracy, I know you're Norman, not Tracy, I Tracy. Norman, Now, let's have a look at you after you've been crying. Does your head rotate and you throw green vomit everywhere? <laughs> Thanks, Pete. Get a priest. She's still doing it. I was nominated. Oh, boy, I'm yeah, we all have to go through that sometime, right? Yeah, but not all night. <laughs> now there's thousands of people jamming the phone lines of the fucking universe. Outward Tracy, outward Tracy. Seriously, Tracy, you are the only person in this house, Tracy, has acted fucked up. Dennis, go back to bed. I'm not. I'm going to fuck with you all day. Take your tattoos. I'm going to fuck with you all day, guys. You know that's fucked up what you did yesterday. Like, what, four hours ago? I was walking across there, and I thought, oh, it looks like everything's calmed down. And I heard again, but I love you, and I love your glasses, and I love your father. And, and I love Preston. I have, I have all your children. And I have all your albums. And, oh, oh, uh, oh, I just, it was... Unbelievable. Eleven fourteen AM. Another day. <laughs> you all right, Rula? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm having. Uh, you know, I've made an attempt to get back into some sort of communication with George, but he's blanking me completely, so there's nothing more I can do. It's a horrible thing, guilt, though, isn't it? Hmm? It's a horrible thing, guilt. It really fucking... It really is upsetting, isn't it? Yeah, I know, John. Well, you've got to let it go. Like, we've got to let it go, you've got to let it yeah. go. Yeah. There's no I, mean, I feel like I'm ten times more upset than you and Maggie. I don't think so. Tracy is in the sauna. Maggot is in the diary room. Maggot, what's the general atmosphere in the house like this morning? It's... It, it, it's a heavy, hangover feeling. People are not really sure what to say, what to do, or where to place themselves. It, there's a, certainly a different dynamic to the whole thing, though. How are you feeling after the events of last night? Still a bit uh, perplexed uh, as the reasons why I was nominated. Um, not angry, just a little confused as to people's motivation for nominating me. Personally, I can understand why they've nominated other people. That's quite easy to say. I was um, apparently poking fun and being cruel to Chantel. Um, that wasn't the intention. I didn't realise that Preston was so wrapped up in Chantel, and I'm quite surprised that, that he leapt so quickly to her defence. Maggot, how do you think the nominators are feeling this morning? George is apparently feeling quite upset with all this going on, but I feel that if you're an elected... This is what I feel now, is that if you're an elected member of parliament, voted to do a job by a large amount of people, then you should be doing that job, not on a reality TV show. It's all right for me. I'm in a band. Nothing goes on in January. I haven't got thousands of people to look after and in their interests. He has. I'm, I'm trying to get eye contact with Preston, but it doesn't really seem to work. <laughs> he, he keeps looking away. He probably feels quite guilty. It's just that, um, you know, the rules state, and Big Brother's quite clear, don't break the rules. Because if you do, you're going to get burnt. <laughs> Twelve thirty two PM. Some of the housemates are in the kitchen. <laughs> Tracy and George are in the gym.
Pete and Chantelle are in the bedroom. Where's Zidius? She's in the gym. I was nominated. I was oh. nominated. Uh, couldn't you throw in a bucket of fucking oh. water? You know that Marilyn Monroe laugh? And yeah. it laughs and she goes... <laughs> yeah. It's not real at all. She's getting on my fucking nerves. She... That, that's me. She thought she was going to win. She was confident. She'd never be nominated. Mm. I love the fact that she can't wash her hair even. Every time you see her in the corner, she's digging at it like... <laughs> Because if you scratch one spot, it sets oh, off yeah. manic itching. Because the hairs on the wefts go on your scalp, and it's like fucking hell. It's like having fleas. Oh, it must be horrible. It's so bad. It looks like Tina Turner's arse hairs. It's going all matty, and eventually it'll go. Okay. I've got a whole new respect for you after the last two days, the way you've said, hey, enough. And out of all of us, you've been the one that least fell apart or freaked out. Totally fucking fallen for you, you know. Oh, I've hate. I think you're fucking guys. <laughs> She's lovely, isn't she? Right, who do you want to set free from that house of pain? To evict Maggot, call 09011 That's 09011 To evict Ruler, call 09011 That's 09011 To evict Tracy, call 09011 That's 09011 Or you can text the name of the housemate you want to evict to 84444. Lines are going to close in 16 minutes. I'm going to see you after the break. Welcome back to Celebrity Big Brother. Now, tonight, Maggot, Ruler and Tracy, they've got their necks on the line. And as always, you are Chief Executioner. So, who will get the top? To evict Maggot, call 09011-323306. That's 09011-323306. To evict Ruler, call 09011-323310. That's 09011-323310. To evict Tracy, call 09... <laughs> I'm going to start again. I must have laughed through the numbers. 09011-323311. That's 09011-323311. You've got 11 minutes left to vote. We've got quite a rowdy crowd here tonight. But first, OK, back to the house yesterday. And you'd think, after last night, they'd start being nice to each other, right? No, wrong. One twenty-three pm Tracy, Maggot and Ruler are in the bedroom. Listen, I'm, as far as I'm concerned, I really tried to make an attempt to play it this morning as if nothing had happened yes. with him, and I've had absolutely no the response. There's just been a negation, as if it was in a disembodied voice speaking. For fuck's sake. What's no, the matter with him? Why? But the thing is, you haven't done anything wrong. Well, not to say well, that, you know... We... I don't think I've done anything wrong, but, you know, I can't be responsible for anybody else's reactions. No, it's not about it. It's not about it, is it? It's cool. 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 I know you are. I know you are. Totally cool. I know you are. George and Pete are in a spa talking about ruler. She is just totally fascinated. Like last night she said, Oh, who gives a fuck? I won't be seeing anybody from this house and I'll be glad not to. Mind you, I will want to see you for the address of a clinic and a plastic surgeon. After all that she said about your surgery. Yeah. Amazing. I liked her at first, but I soon grew off. It's the same kind of thespian insincerity as the California insincerity that we talked about last night. Do you know what I mean? This. It's a different world for yeah, me, George. Yeah. But it reminds me exactly why, since 1983, I've made a conscious decision not to mix with other celebrities because mm -hmm. they'd all trample on each other's fucking eyeballs to get to the top. Mm -hmm. And I was so dying to jump in last night and say, actually, you did say that it made you basically competitive and you're out to win. Mm. But I just thought, oh, what, no, what next? We're ganging up on her. Tracy's cheerfully unrepentant about her behaviour last night, obviously. That surprised me a little. 
Tracy obviously thought I'm going to be in for the full run. Yeah. Yeah, that's clear. I was nominated. I said, fuck off, you stupid bitch. I was nominated twice. Yeah, but it's different. Why is it different? Mm. It's amazing. As you, uh, you put it very well, like the culture from which they come. It's all surface, scratch the surface yeah. and what you get, more surface. Mm. But inside is a rot, paranoia, self-hatred. Because you come in as an actress, acting, and you can't keep up and act for three weeks. Five or six p.m. Ruler and Tracy are in the bedroom. Who are you ever going to see again once you leave here? The only people, it seems to me, who will definitely see more of each other are Chantal and, and Preston. Preston, sure. if, if, if the situation, situation is right. Yeah. But apart from that, I can't really see. Girls, get yes. on. Oh, thank you, Preston. You know, I'm I'm way older than anybody here. Um, Maggie, what do you want? Uh, Preston. Yeah. Where is he? Where's Dennis? Yeah, I'll take this one for Dennis. I'll thank her. Uh, oh, okay. I'm a VAG. Can you sort of pepper, please? Okay. What's the food coming in? Okay, it's all right. There you Six forty seven PM Ruler and Dennis are in the spa talking yes, about yes. George. And a, and a couple of things that I don't understand, which I would quite like to confront, but I don't know whether there's any point. In this case, um, if you want to mend a wrong, two people have to make that effort. One, people making, one person making the effort isn't enough. I know, but it, it'll make you feel a lot better, a lot more humble if you can get it off your chest and somewhat let it rest. You just lay it all on the table, Great, Here it is. Yeah, but I did try. I have tried. But Just by ordinary, today, just by ordinary chit-chat, you know, which is how, in my opinion, that's how you um, mend a rift. I don't hold grudges, but I like to know why something has been said. Well, why do you what, let me really address it? Just address it straight out. Just address it. I mean, if I got something to say, I will say it out loud so people can hear me. If you got a point, to come and take me. I'll, I'll listen to it. But if, if it's something that, that, that needs to be addressed, you can say it. I mean, yeah, well, I will when I can find the moment, but I've got to get that person sitting still in one point and willing to give me eye contact. But sometimes <laughs> it's not worth it. Sometimes it's not worth it. Once a, a delicate balance has been re-established of some sort, and at the moment everybody's fragile, everybody's vulnerable, it's early in the evening, there's still four or five hours to go before bedtime, and because everybody's still shaky from yesterday, I don't want to rock the boat anymore. 
everybody's playing the game. There's not one person. A waiting game. game. That's playing a waiting game. Now everybody's playing a game. It ain't, oh, let's just let this person win. You won't get that anymore. That won't happen again. But I, I think that if I'd been put in a situation like yesterday, and whoever I might have had to nominate, however hard they might pretend that it doesn't affect them or it doesn't hurt them, I feel that I would have come out and tried to explain the situation immediately. I feel that, um, I don't know, I just sort of hope that George would come up to me and say, this is the reason why I said those things. And not for me to have to go on hands and knees to ask for the reason. Seven fifty one PM. <laughs> Dennis and Tracy are in the spa. I mean, you saw today how no one was really speaking to each other. Like I said, like I told you, I'm saying again. I don't give a rat's ass. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just, just, just case in point. The ruler say exactly what I I've been telling her from day one. She said, I really don't care if I stay in touch with any of these people anyway. Did she say that? I think I heard it when I walked in there. I said, did I just hear that? Well, I would think that ruler would be upset with George. George isn't speaking of ruler. That doesn't, I don't, that's funny. <sighs> you going, Asha? Say so they're speaking now. She's gonna ask them. Uh, just I hate I hate moods. Mm -hmm. Um. And I know that. You know what you were faced with yesterday was horrid, and I know that. Um, now having really sort of thought about it. That the three choices were obvious, and I don't. I'm not surprised by that. What I would really like to know, for curiosity, because uh. um, I honestly never said that I was out to win. Well, in that case, somebody has uh, has uh, misrepresented you. But the other thing, which is mu of much more interest, is mm. that I try too hard, mm. and I want. Well, I, once I heard that story, I began to notice uh, what I took to be a sort of campaign. I mean, basically going from flower to flower, uh, pollinating it. But to be honest... What do you mean, things like massage and... Uh, and kisses and cuddles and hugs and... That's just... And so I've on. always been like that. Mm. That's just the way I am. Uh, I'll, I'll be perfectly frank with you. That would not have been... You say that the choice was obvious. Actually, it wasn't. But given that it had to be a joint selection, uh, if you think about it, it's obvious then. If, if I had been in with somebody else, that would not have been the three that I would have nominated. Yeah, but it being a game, uh, I mean, apart from the fact that he'd had a few drinks, mm. um, you could have put the ball in his court at some point so that he not could really, have he, Not really, he would have been one of them. He's hardly going to agree to put himself up. Oh, right, OK. Chantel might have been another. Mm. He's not going to agree to that. Yeah, I suppose in a way you're right that some, sometimes I oh, you're definitely expect person, so. acknowledgement. Yeah. I suspect oh, well, I don't I'm make many, I don't make many mistakes. Right. Huh? Can I just ask you, what happened to all the kind of group hugging and all of that? I mean, that lot, they just seriously need some love. But uh, thank you. But actually, 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 after last night, please don't tell Pete I said that. Please. Um, OK, now, let's get down to some business, the business we call show. Right, the phone lines are closed, your votes are in. Some people are in a porter cabin, sort of over that way. They're busy counting and verifying them. It's eviction time after the break. <laughs> Welcome back to Celebrity Big Brother. Now, listen, Pete's had 
a bit of a traumatic day today, uh, something to do with the coach, and he decided not to sit in the living room tonight for the eviction. Okay, so, you know what's coming next? I'm now going to talk to the house. Big Brother House, this is Davina. You are live on Channel 4. Please do not swear. No swearing. No swearing. No Maggot. Hello. 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 Ruler. Hello. 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 And Tracy. Hello. Hi. Hi. The lines are closed, the votes have been counted and verified, and I can now reveal that the third housemate to be evicted from the Big Brother House is... Oh, wow. Wow. Rula. Oh, shit. Rula. Oh, I love you. Take care. seconds to say your goodbyes. I'm coming to get you. Bye. See you later. Fifteen seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Well, to be evicted, to be out. It feels uh, it feels quite hard to be evicted, I have to say, because uh, even though one's been nominated in the House, but the ultimate decision lies with the public. So, however matter of fact one tries to be about it, it does feel a bit sad. Yeah, it's a tough thing to go through. I yeah. mean, especially after the nominations and everything, which is a tough thing in itself. And I w let's talk about this week's nominations. It was done in a particularly harsh way. Um, I'm sorry, but I'm just going to revisit that moment. OK. She's trying too hard. Uh, she, uh, in fact, said that she was now going out to win. Mm. Uh, and uh, I think she's falsely exuding bonhomie 
yep. with a view of canvassing votes. I think she's taken a motherly role, but perhaps with intent. Mm. That's what I love. Intent to what? Be motherly. I don't know. And, <laughs> intent and to and be nice. And what trying too hard Crime. mean? <laughs> Crime. Of course and I'm motherly. I'm way older than anybody else in the house. That, that was an extremely harsh way to yes. be nominated yeah. anyway. What, what did that feel like when you were watching that on the screen? Total betrayal. I mean, especially from, from George? Yes, in a way. I mean, I think anybody who had been put into that situation um, of having to vote the housemate or the housemates out, or nominate them, rather, in front of them, because we all know that the nominations are in secret. But otherwise. they didn't know that it, that they were. It was. They realised fairly soon. Only when they came out. Yeah. Yeah. So they didn't. They didn't. Otherwise, I don't think. I mean, you got it quite bad, but Tracy's was agony. I had to go and hide. <laughs> I was behind the sofa because it just went yeah. on and on forever. So I mean, George was your special friend. Well, and he was, was the closest shock. to me in age. Yes, it was a huge shock, and it was uh, something that took a long time to get over. You know the reasons that, that they gave for nominating? Do you mm -hmm. think any of them were justified? Well, one of them is decidedly untrue, because I Which never one? said that, that I was going to win. to win, and I never dreamt that I had a chance of winning anyway. So that is a complete untruth, and I confronted George with that But later. I think somebody told him that. So he said, mm. but I never found out who that was. Mm. As far as trying too hard goes, I'm not quite sure what that means. I thought the whole idea of the game was that one tried as hard as one could to be a team member, a good so housemate. Get on with your housemates and, and massages and hugging. I'll have that <laughs> off you any day. Thank you very much. Now, listen, um, you know, obviously it was hard for you because George and you were particularly close. And let's just look how close you were. Rula is aristocracy. She's pure class from top to toe. He's an erudite, intelligent man whose eyes show an enormous amount of goodness. You're looking lovely today. Thank you very much. Mm. She's a sophisticated person. She's all heart. Rula, I'm really glad you're here. Well, mine would be Rula. She's trying too hard. She said that she was going out to win. I have never said I was well, out to win. I, I stand by everything I said. He's blanking me completely, so there's nothing more I can do. I liked her at first, but I'd soon go off. What went wrong? I really have no idea. There's um, one person in the house who I thought uh, was given more favours than anybody else and was Pete. treated. Yes. <laughs> uh, was treated with, uh, you know, kid gloves and for good reason. But were you afraid of him? Uh, today I was afraid to stand up to him with the animal rights situation and I was really, really angry with myself because I'm a conservationist campaigner. And but everybody I've seemed to be afraid of him. It was weird. Because when he blows, it he blows. affects the whole house. Yeah, yeah. And it's not pleasant. Just quickly back to George. Were you ever attracted to George? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Not my type at all. <laughs> okay. Although I have to say he's got beautiful eyes and uh, he's a highly intelligent man. And, and by the way, I totally forgive him. I'm mystified well, as to why he you. said it, but that's I totally forgive him. There was a moment, you know, when you did the science task that I thought possibly there was a moment of sexual tension. <laughs> see, if you, see, see what you think when you watch this? Now, would you like me to be the cat? Yes, please. Good pushy, 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 Good girl. Good girl. Now look at it. It's got cream all over your whiskers. 
But hold on, you have to take it in context. Yes, this was an improvisation. It was a task, but I can understand it from you because you're an actress and there's method acting and you got into your part and that's okay, but George Galloway, he's an MP. I know. <laughs> and I had him on his knees on in his front knees. of me. Licking. <laughs> With his head in your lap, purring. <laughs> I know. Honestly, it caused such a furore out here. <laughs> you cannot even imagine. Just have a look at this. Look. Three headlines oh my from God. three of the major newspapers. Front page. <laughs> Honestly, it was the funniest thing you've ever seen. And it was all taken in context. But you've got to say, George Galloway playing a cat and purring. It looked like some kind of foreplay in some <laughs> sort of animal fetish club or something like that. It was brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant. Made us all laugh. Um, now, do you think you're going to meet up with him? Because you said you've forgiven him. Are you going to meet up with him? Um, probably not in private, but I believe that there is a compulsory reunion, so... Com <laughs> Brilliant. I'll look forward to watching I will that. Have to. Now, listen, <clears throat> Pete, um, you've had your ups and downs with Pete. He is, uh, as you said, a very demanding member of that household. Um, what was your relationship like with him? Because he clashed with you possibly more than other people. Hugely. I had the distinct feeling that he didn't like me. Um, I mean, I have been accused of being oversensitive. By George. No, no, he did clash with you, don't worry. Yes. We noticed. <laughs> <laughs> he did, and he's hugely high maintenance. I think every member of the household would agree with that. He would agree with that, actually. Yes, but he, on the other hand, I have to defend the fact that he is somebody who is completely himself and doesn't give a flying monkeys what anybody I thinks about it. Else. <laughs> I thought, gosh, at least if she swore, Trick she'd you. pronounce it properly. <laughs> Um, but at times it was very hard to deal with, and particularly today, where he just would not look me in the face. Yeah. And I was not going to rise to the bait. Um, in some ways, actually, I'm really angry with myself that I didn't confront him with the issue, because I thought I probably would be leaving today, and I would have liked to have just had a final word about how selfish he can be. I think there were quite a few people in that house that when they come out, they'll be annoyed that they didn't confront something because he's very happy to confront something. So Everybody. Yeah, so in a sense, it would be good to confront him back, but then you never know what you're going to get back. But he's, a lashing, he's forgiven a, a lot lashing. more than anybody else is. Now, how difficult um, was the whole Big Brother experience for you? Uh, <clears throat> it was an extraordinary experience, um, far different from what I imagined it would be and far more difficult. Harder. Yes. And I will never again be light-hearted about this sort of television. Also very difficult when you um, have a little bitch about somebody and they're in the room, ruler. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Your face, Terrible. it was such a picture. <laughs> when you turned around and you looked, you looked over there and you went... Shit. <laughs> because we know that as you were, you're such a best, but you go, shit. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, uh, yes. Oh, it's was... awful, and she didn't say anything. She just got up and walked out of the room. <coughs> Until later. And then Until there was a, a whole day Until of controversy later. about that. Now, let's just talk about some of your housemates. Um, Chantal and Preston, anything going on between them? No. I think they're two people of the same age who look very cute together, and uh, they like each other. They're very good mates, but um, I think any attraction there might be is seriously stifled by what Everybody's the consequences been, yes, might be exactly, outside of the exactly. house. Um, now, listen, on Wednesday after the nominations, you said that nobody would have um, nominated Michael, um, Pete or Dennis. Um, why? Why not? Um, I think the public sympathy for Michael is vast. Do you think so? No! <laughs> Yes, but <laughs> look, at the, look at the overall age of the lovely people in here. Yeah, but think about the people that vote. Well, I don't know how broad that is. I'm not sure, actually, either. <laughs> I think it's quite young. I think it's quite young. Well, that's well. I don't know. I'm yeah. surprised. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway. Um, and so what about my, uh, Pete or Dennis? I mean, Pete, Pete we know about. Pete is hugely he's outrageous, huge. and he's probably the best television value you could ever hope for. This I mean, is true. Half his body hanging out most of the time. <laughs> um, I like the B stripy top with the really baggy bit around the crotch. I'm always like and the close And eyes, the eye makeup. It? I mean, have you ever seen anybody put makeup so much so often? But he's got very beautiful eyes. He's got stunning eyes. Yeah. And he's... Um, listen, I've got to do my final sum up. Listen, let's okay. talk about ruler. Right. Um, what have you learnt from your time in the house? Huge amounts. Um, 
be careful who's around when you say something. <laughs> <laughs> Number one. Um, I mean, I thought the whole idea about this was that one was supposed to be oneself. Yes. And I've been criticised for being myself. I am a tactile, caring person. There's nothing wrong with that. No, but in this case, it was wrong. Well, because I think they misread it. I think they thought that you were trying to do that in order to win favour. Well, that's bullshit. Yes. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Sorry. Uh, the I'll put it back point. on. I'll put it back on. I'll put it on. I love that. Ruler. I love it. Well done. Aristocratically uh, said, yes, though, don't you? Aristocratically said. Um, so, listen, who do you want to win? Chantel. I would say I would say Preston. Preston. Even after he nominated you. He is a gentle person with I believe an enormous amount of talent. Yeah. He's bright, he's gorgeous looking. He is gorgeous looking. Yeah. Yeah. And um and he's just a lovely person. Oh, that's that's nice to hear. Any regrets about going in there? Personal regrets? None whatsoever. Great. Well, that's nice to hear. Um, right, Ruler, you've been brilliant to watch. Thank you for being such a lovely part of the house, and here are your best moments. <laughs> it's Ruler Litzka. You're obviously a top actress. <laughs> Although I'm having a wonderful time. Mm. What the hell am I doing here? <laughs> Rula is pure class from top to toe. What do you mean, take clothes off? Go <laughs> <laughs> on, oh, take your clothes off, Chantal. You certainly want Rula Lenska on your team. I don't like, you know, bitching and ugliness and all the rest of it. Crazy. Oh, thank you so much. Rula, you know what? Fuck off. <laughs> the hug a day makes a huge difference. I hate this feeling of being regarded as a fuddy duddy. <laughs> Peace throughout the world and for the happiness of all humanity. Ladies and gentlemen, Rula. You just stay there. OK, if you've got E4, turn over right now for Big Brother's Big Mouth. It's brilliant. If you haven't got E4, just hurry up and get it, OK? <laughs> and if you want to apply, this is very exciting news, to be on Big Brother 7, log on to channel4.com forward slash Big Brother. And listen, I'll see you all on Wednesday for a double eviction. <laughs> Good night! Because she's in there. Something's going on. Preston. Yes, Brian? What do you know that we don't? I don't know anything that you don't, I'm afraid. Preston. I wish I did. Spill it. Spill it. Wow. George, what do you know? this does get exciting, doesn't it? Oh, my it? God. <laughs> Para, no, my God. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to do what you said. They're going to air vocals. <coughs> this is the Metropolitan Police. <laughs> All housemates yeah. come up with their hands out. <laughs> come up with their hands out. What do you mean, say that? <laughs> Listen.
definitely a different thing. Let's watch. We're still on third. <laughs> <laughs>